Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. Another task that we have to do to kind of prep some land is uh, today we're burning. So we have this pile behind us. We're going to be uh, setting it on fire here in a little bit. Uh, we've tried this a couple times, but the weather hasn't been truly in our favor. So, you know, I, uh, I wish we had a chipper because it would be a whole lot faster just to kind of chip all this stuff up. But we don't, and this is what we got to do. So we're going to do this for our 2021 planting. So I'm making our video of kind of our process and how we prep the field and kind of the steps that we do to get ready. But this one's about fire. So fire safety, we have a full tank with water that we kind of uh, use to make sure that we don't let the fire get out of hand. Um, you know, wood's good and dry. There's nothing really close. So hopefully it goes pretty quick. Well, it was a great day for burning. We uh, set out for a goal of burning two piles and we got five done. So it was very dry, um, fire went great. Like I said, it was a long day. We started, I think about nine o'clock and uh, I think I got done around four. So it takes a, it's very time consuming. Uh, maybe someday we'll buy a chipper and just make quick work of everything. And we can always use mulch and wood chips around the farm for filling up on the poles, maybe mulching around the trees, which a lot of growers have done to kind of preserve water and uh, moisture. It was very successful. And I was very happy with our, uh, with our progress. It cleared the land that we need to uh, have ready for next year's planting. And also cleared some piles out of my exotic fir area so that I can plant there next year, probably over the next three years if we finished enough burning there. So very happy with it. So how do you guys get ready? Rid of your uh, brush or stuff? Do you have a chipper? Do you burn it? What's the best way? Please let me know and uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Okay.